So I'm Jim Barker, I'm the Head of Water Resources for Portsmouth Water and it's my job to make sure that there's enough water available to be treated to allow water to come out of everyone's taps for the next 100 years. Building a reservoir in Havant is one of the key parts of a regional water resources plan to make sure that water is available for the whole of the southeast going forward. Water companies are being asked to take less water from some sources we have available to us today, particularly from rivers, and that's in order to keep the rivers safe and healthy to protect wildlife. Plus, we need to find more water to combat the effects of climate change. We're seeing our weather patterns change, and of course, we're seeing a growing population in the southeast. So all of that adds up to the water resources in the southeast being under a bit of pressure and this reservoir will supply extra water into the system to relieve some of that pressure. In particular, Southern Water, our neighbours in, in Hampshire, are being asked to take less water from two world-renowned chalk streams, the rivers Test and Itchin. We, in Portsmouth Water here, we get most of our water from the ground, from the chalk beneath our feet, and we have a series of underground springs that provide plentiful clean water to us. But as part of the South East, we want to play our role. So in winter, much of our spring water actually flows out to sea. We don't capture it and we don't, and, and we don't treat it for drinking water because people are using less water in the winter. So what we're proposing with this reservoir is actually to capture the water that is lost to the sea from our springs, to put it in the reservoir over the winters so it's available should we have a long hot dry summer and, and water resources become scarce. It's really also important to say that this isn't just about finding more water. Us as water companies and particularly as Portsmouth Water we're doing our bit to be more effective and efficient with the water we have. So our leakage levels for instance are currently at their lowest level we've ever had. It's really important that we don't waste water. We're also looking to, to talk to customers about using water wisely. So in this situation of more people, climate change, less water available, we all need to think, are we using water wisely? And to take simple steps that could possibly help us all uh, use a little bit less. We've talked about the reservoir before. Plans for the reservoir, in fact, were first drawn up in 1964. Uh, but it was again in 2008 that we drew up the, the most recent plans and at that point we shared those plans with our customers, with you guys, during a public consultation. At that point the water situation wasn't quite as stressful as it is today, so it didn't go forward at that point. But we're bringing it forward now because the situation is more stressed than it, than it was in 2008 and also the, the regional understanding of the water situation and our ability to move water around the region uh, has improved, which makes the reservoir a lot more important to more people. So right now there's a shortfall of water across the southeast as a whole and plans for the reservoir have been included in Portsmouth Water and Southern Water's long-term water resource plans as a way of looking to close some of that shortfall. <laughs>